welcome back to my channel. So today we are shopping for some healthy back to school lunches as you guys know or you might not know. But we start school tomorrow. I'm starting college classes tomorrow which I'm so excited about. Bradley's starting 8th grade and then Aiden starts 1st grade. So we're going to get some like healthy lunches. Once we get home I'll do like a haul and everything but that's kind of what we're up to at the moment. But if you're new subscribe down below and I hope you're excited for this video. Okay, so we've decided to put back the big carrots and we're just gonna get, oh my gosh, we're just gonna get like some baby carrots. This is gonna be easier than chopping up like whole carrots. So the cart is starting to fill up and this is just one of the grocery stores that we're going to. But now we're going down the gluten-free aisle. Made it to the gluten-free section to grab some gluten-free crackers which are right here. These are the best crackers ever. Possibly pick up something else but honestly I'm not sure what else. Guys, the water's gone. This was on our list to get and there's no big waters left but they have mini ones. But like I said, we're going to another grocery store store so it's okay so we've made it to the second grocery store of this trip we are at food lion i just stepped on a napkin Ooh. but we are here to grab the rest of our groceries a lot of the cake mix is gone and a lot of like baking goods and muffins i'm thinking a lot of people are grabbing that for the hurricane okay so we are back home i feel like we've been gone from the house all day like this entire weekend i honestly just feel like it was a rush and we weren't home really much, but I don't know. I'm just glad to be home, honestly. <laughs> Since school starts tomorrow, we've been buying like some healthy stuff for back to school. Mom thought it was the perfect time to organize our cabinet, our pantry, and the refrigerator. We haven't gone to the freezer yet just because that is a whole another task that can wait for another day because it's like 10.30 at night. We haven't even packed lunches, nor have I finished my vlog, nor have I edited. Same. The children are in bed though. Yeah, that's actually good. But God, that's good. Normally, I love my babies, but when they're running around, it's just harder to get things done. But I'm going to show you guys the pantry and the refrigerator because you do not realize how just buying a few little bins can make the world of difference. Like, it yeah. looks so good. Like, our refrigerator looks like empty now, but I swear it's we bought cool, a ton it's of cool. stuff. Like, yeah, that's what's weird because usually we just throw it in there like the best we can and it just looks very unorganized. You have to really search for it but this is like super organized I'm loving it and then I'm gonna show you the pantry then I'm gonna pack my lunch for tomorrow because as you guys know the first day of school is tomorrow I'm really excited one I'm excited to just get back on a schedule but no rambling let me show you this then we will pack a lunch together and I'll show you my healthy options because I'm trying to do better this school year open up the pantry door look at there look at there okay it doesn't really look so organized up there but we haven't done that shelf yet because I'm just focusing on snacks and school lunches. Yeah, exactly. So our meal shelf. Yeah, our meal shelf. So up here at the top, we actually did organize this, but it just needs to be organized a little better. So we put all like the additional snacks up here, which really didn't have room to go down here where the other snacks are. But this is just like our bulk snacks, I guess you can say. And then right here we have like canned goods and dinner stuff. And then right here. I think this area looks so good like I love it so we have like a box of cereal right there and then in here this is like a little breakfast bin so we have like some little pop-tart things carnation instant breakfast drinks which I absolutely love those granola bars Aiden wanted these lucky charm bars which I used to eat those all the time when I was little and then grit then in here we have like just a snack bin gummy rice krispies granolas that kind of thing then we got these little rice crackers which my mom loves those I'm not really a fan I enjoy a different kind which I don't know where they're at in here, but we'll find them. Then right here, we have a basket of like baked Cheetos and this pirate booty. Then we have these baked chips, which I love the ruffle sour cream and cheddar baked chips. Those are the best. Popcorn, regular lace, and pretzels. We have goldfish for Aiden, Fig Newtons, which oh my gosh, do you guys remember Fig Newtons? I used to love them when I was little, hate them now. I got me some gluten-free Oreos back there, you really can't see them. Gluten-free crackers, and they're my rice crackers. And then back there we have like some sunflower seeds and edamame. And then for the refrigerator, oh my gosh, it looks so much better. Like it really does. We have an egg container that is really nice and plastic. Our milk's up here and our orange juice. We have like a coffee section, so we have like coffee that you could make, and then we have these cool little instant like french vanilla drinks by duncan hopefully for briley and mama and dad's sake they taste just like they do through the drive the throat i don't know what to see and then right here i absolutely love these two bins this is the applesauce bin <laughs> 
but applesauce is like one of my favorite treats. And then Faye, this is the best yogurt ever. If you're looking for like a good breakfast in the morning, get Faye. The best kind is the strawberry kind. And literally this like little section right here is like fruit. So you just pour it right into your yogurt and literally it's the best breakfast ever. And it's really filling, honestly, like it's thick yogurt. Then right here we have this little bin and it's full of like all of our lunch meat, pepperoni and cheese. And then in here we have our butter and sour cream, which is kind of empty right now, but we're also going to be boiling eggs and putting them in here. <laughs> right here in this little section we have our sodas and Gatorades in this drawer. We have hummus, which I am in love with hummus and then fully cooked bacon this is our vegetable drawer which has a ton of veggies we're trying to like we said eat better so we're trying to incorporate a lot of vegetables this school year in our lunches and then down here we just have waters and juice boxes found these cool bento boxes this is gonna be super helpful for packing lunches and also having some kind of portion control something that's always difficult I would have to say is trying to figure out what you want to eat for the next day as you guys know me and mom are gluten free so we can't really make sandwiches unless we buy like special bread like gluten free bread but we did buy some gluten free tortillas which I'm not really sure if I want to have a tortilla tomorrow because you can make like little cute pinwheels with them like cut them up I might just do like turkey and cheese roll-ups boar's head ichiban chicken and the boar's head white American cheese I'm just going to make some cheese roll-ups which these are super simple to make Okay, so here are the turkey and cheese roll-ups. I only did two with cheese and then two just regular turkey just because I did not want to use like two slices of cheese. So I'm going to have some gluten-free pretzels and hummus. I feel like this is a great snack. It's definitely healthier compared to like potato chips, which as you guys know, I am a potato chip fanatic. I love me some potato chips, but like I said, I'm trying to do better. So I'm going to have me some pretzels and hummus and I did not want to put the hummus in my bento box. So I'm actually going to be using one of these small containers which these are like the perfect size for hummus just because I don't know I don't really want hummus in here but pretzel sticks can definitely go in the bento box Okay, we've ran into a problem. <laughs> the go go squeeze won't fit. So I'm just gonna pour it in here. Okay, guys, my bento box is complete. Yes, this looks really weird, but I forgot we had ham and I wanted a piece. So I put a piece in my box. So this is like turkey, <laughs> one slice of cheese, and one slice of ham. And then I have gluten free pretzels, applesauce, carrot sticks, and then some hummus for my carrots and pretzels but i think this looks really good i think it's gonna be good but yeah i think this looks really cute i'm really excited for the first day of school tomorrow okay so that is all for today's video i hope you guys got a little bit of inspiration for back to school lunch ideas i think it was kind of helpful i don't know maybe it wasn't maybe you guys are like oh my gosh no but i don't know i think it's pretty cool i'm excited about the new school year i'm excited to have bento boxes just i feel like it's gonna make life a whole lot easier i hope you all enjoyed this video Video. if you did give it a big thumbs up if you are loving school and also leave a comment down below come back tomorrow so you guys can see how our first day of school went first day of college first day of mom teaching again are you excited mom very much so yes so there we go and we will see you guys tomorrow